The empty interface declares no functions and therefore is trivially satisfied by any type, which makes it a popular choice for implementing generic data containers like queues or trees. This is an example of a very simple first-in, first-out container that has three methods, put, get, and is empty. As the input parameter of put is an empty interface, we can pass any type into that container. After retrieving an element from the container, we simply use a type assertion to retrieve the original type of the element. However, using this approach, we lose static type checking. We may intend to use a container for storing integers, but nothing prevents us from putting a string into the same container. Reading this string fails at the point where we try to assert that the element returned from the container is an integer. Luckily, there is a way of adding static type safety by creating a wrapper method for every method that writes into the data container. We start with a new container type named int container and we embed the original container type so that we have all its methods available. Now we can write a new version of put as a method of int container. This version takes an integer and calls the original put method. Embedded types, like container in this case, have no field name, so we are using the type name itself as a qualifier for accessing the original put method. And this is all we need. Now we can rewrite the code in main to use an int container instead. First, we create an int container that instantiates the embedded container field. If live error checks are turned on, we can see the wrong insertion immediately. Otherwise, the error shows up at compile time. Second, as our new put method ensures that the container can only contain integers, we now can remove the type assertion after the call to get, as well as the comma OK assignment. With a very thin wrapper around our generic data container, we now can enjoy type safety and clearer code. And that's it for today's QuickBit episode. See the channel for more episodes or visit my blog at appliedgo.net or my GoCourses site at appliedgo.com. Happy coding! Mm -hmm.